Uh, hello guys, I want to do a video today because I achieved a milestone, uh, kind of like a milestone. <laughs> I finally realised this week in the last few days that I can use my Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. So I'll show you <laughs> what it looks like this one. Which I've stuck this piece of paper on, like Cynics told me. <laughs> it's awesome. So good. Sketch paper and uh, what's it? Washi tape and then RJ BT21. <laughs> Anyway, and then the pen. <laughs> Anyways, um, this could be a long video because um, I want to, yeah, talk about it. Um, I really love it. Basically, what I, because I always saw people being able to draw, um, with the computer, well, the, you know, with the tablet, you know, the ones without the screen. So they'd be like drawing down here, but on top of the screen, they're, they're looking. And, um, they always say, like, Psychra said it, and... Cynic said it, and so many other people have said artists on YouTube that that they just get used to it. Eventually, it's like second nature. But at first, it feels really weird. Oh, Fabelina told me said that as well. She said she did. It took a, a few months actually to get really used to it. And when I heard that, I was like in my head going, "Wow, that's really cool." <laughs> and I've had this tablet for years now. Like maybe I don't know when it came out. Like maybe I want to say I bought it four or five years ago, maybe. And I never really put in a lot of time into using it I'd like have it there but sometimes I'd draw with it sometimes I wouldn't but then I don't know what happened um uh this year 2020 um I just came across maybe I came across a video where Cypress said um yeah took him a, a solid week to of practicing and then but then he got the hang of how to use it and when I heard that I was like whoa that's pretty cool and so I looked on my Instagram because I made a post I made a post when I first started it um, I'll try to keep talking while I, <laughs> I just have to go back. I post a lot of stuff, so, ah, it wasn't hard, because I was already on there. Well, this was in June 25. I started with, um, like, Mr. Men and stuff like that, so I kind of dedicated myself to, like, really getting this done, so I had everything set up, like, the, the tablet here and, um, you know, everything. And then, so I'd practice every day, like, maybe in... I don't know, like an hour or so, but the last few days I've been getting really into it, maybe two hours or more. But anyway, it doesn't even matter. It's like more the regularity of it that was the main thing. And, um, yeah, I, in the first few few weeks, I would just, like, start really basic. Like, um, I would start with Mr. Men. Like, I was just looking at a picture of Mr. Men on my phone and then trying to draw a Mr. Men, <laughs> which is, like, those simple, very simple characters. So this video could take a while, like, I'm in no rush to do this, <laughs> let's, let's take the time with this. There's no rush, right? Those are the other ones I did. Um, but also, um, Cynics, um, uh, I think Cynics, oh, just on YouTube, I think it's just Cynics, the channel's called Cynics, he's awesome. But he had a video about tips on tablets. So he told me, like, um, one really good tip, which I loved. He said, put in the paper, he goes, it's the best thing he ever did. And I agree. For this tablet, putting the paper on it makes it feel like drawing on paper. It's so much better, like, because without it, like, I'm sliding around and, and like, I'm wobbling. and You know, my lines, you know, but with the paper, oh, it's so good. So if you want to watch his video on, on that, he gives some tips on using tablets, which is really, really awesome. But, yeah, I think putting the paper on that was a big step. Um, to help me um, also yeah just the, doing it doing it every day pretty much every day like I don't know like and it wasn't far it wasn't hard it wasn't um, as in like I love drawing so it wasn't like a chore or anything like that but I also I decided not to draw on my iPad like only sometimes I draw on my iPad if I really wanted a picture that I wanted to really really get into um, but very rarely like I'd say 95% of the time I was drawing on this thing like I wouldn't even draw on my like sketchbook papers just the sketchbooks everything was on this so it, I don't know and it slowly happened I guess and it was just this week when I realized like I'm looking I was drawing these pictures like because I'm studying um Loomis drawing heads so um like I'm drawing these pictures and and like and I'm just like because I used to doing so many like circles and heads and and then eventually I'm just like, Man, I can kind of do this without really thinking about it now. It's so cool. It's like, it, it just kind of clicked or something. I guess it's like learning any skill, really, when, when, when you suddenly realize you can just do it. And it's just like everyone says, like all the like basketball players and stuff, like when they say, when they practice it, lots and lots of times, these moves, 
becomes automatic. It's so cool that when it actually happens, like I feel so happy because, like I said, I had this tablet for years and I never really got it. Um, I'll show you what I did on Painter. Hopefully, it's still up there. Yeah, it's here. So I'll just show you. Ugh. I don't because I can't see what it's showing now, but hopefully you can see. So it's just a, this is just a practice sketch. It's not like I and it only took me um I don't know less than an hour or so. So I'm practicing from that guy. But basically, I just yeah I'm just drawing with this thing. Like you know I did circles and started with that and then slowly and it's like because I could do that for, like on paper or on my iPad. Um. Uh, yeah, I feel like I could do it pretty comfortably because I've had lots of practice drawing on paper and stuff like that, but not, have, not having a lot of practice um, drawing with the tablet. And I think, I did I tell you already? I think it was like just le just under 10 weeks since June 25. And now, I think it's like October 31st. Not October, August 31st. Anyways, I think it was like about 10 weeks <laughs> to, to actually, when I realized like, Oh, I'm not even thinking about it. It's so really such a nice feeling like so I can tell you if you're on Where I was the other side of the fence like <laughs> Yeah, you can do it like like they all all these other people said like they said like it feels natural It's like just if you practice it a lot, you'll just get the hang of it like Gel arts was it gel arts on YouTube. She said she just got a tablet as a kid and she she, she ended up being out of drawer like you know the ones without screens um, so yeah, now, I, I don't know if I'm starting to ramble on, but I'll tr give you some more tips that I had. Also, most of this stuff was in Cynix's video as well. So, other things I would do when I first, every day, when I pack, it, at first it was fun, and then it kind of became almost boring, but almost became like a warm-up. So, basically, um, I'd start with circles, drawing circles, and also, another thing I learned, like, drawing with the arms. <laughs> so, like, drawing circles, but not like with the wrist drawing with the arm, just practicing like that kind of stuff. That's This is just general drawing technique anyway. But um, so I draw circles, lots of circles. And, and Cynics also explains it very well in his video. So you can check that. So I'll draw circles and then I will draw lines and I and in either direction, trying to make them straight. And I can get really good lines now. <laughs> it's so good. It, it's almost like practicing like a martial art or something. And you just, and like I'd actually, try different directions and see which one was like my worst directions and, and there'd be ones that are worse than others like initially going going that way it was hard but then now it's easy and different ah you'll get it <laughs> just trying different things also drawing a box like and and not like drawing a line like that but just going and you've got the control z so you can always go back so drawing box and then drawing a circle in the box and then going control z keep drawing circles in the box and then making it into a cube. <laughs> um, but this is all in Cynix's video. Um, then, on, this is, once again, it's in Cynix's video. Um, the cube, and I'd put arrows on it. I mean, should I just... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. Um, it's probably easier if I just explain it instead of just... Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Um, I'm just going to have to wing this, like... <laughs> Hopefully you can see what's going on. I'm just gonna put you here. I assume you can see. So, well, so he's hard because I, I need two hands. Uh, so I'm just gonna... uh, hello guys. I just realized that, um, yeah, when I was showing you how to draw on the video, the last, when I was doing it, um, the webcam was pointed down so you couldn't see anything on the screen of what I was doing. So all the warm ups that I was showing you, it was like just aimed at my tablet. So you couldn't see anything. <laughs> Um, so, I thought I would do a video just, um, showing you, uh, what I was doing. <laughs> um, let's, and, and let's just make it, I don't know, should I have my music on? Which I normally do. I should, right? <laughs> it's part of it. Anyways, um, here we go. I usually use black. Why does it look so red? Anyways, who cares? Basically, oh no, it's distracting me actually. Normally I, I get in a bit of a zone with the music, but I do listen to, to my music and that was G-Friend, that was really good. So I will start off with a spiral, maybe in both directions. Oh, when I was first learning, I was doing circles. Just doing lots of circles and then having one hand on Control-Z, just to quickly 
undo it and not even thinking too much about it and using trying to use my arm to draw not my wrist uh, and then I go the other way in the early days I was doing heaps of stuff like this and then I would try to do a square in it and stuff as well that's not very nice but and then next I would go lines like I was saying I don't know if I'll, I'll probably chop out the, 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 the bit where I was in my other video because it went for a while and I was like, because <laughs> I couldn't see what this, the webcam was capturing. Um, so I'm here, I'm going the other direction uh, and doing different angles. This is what I do now. Early on, I was practicing each one a lot. Like that was it. That was my main practice, just getting the coordination right. But now I feel like it's all fine. Every direction, I try every direction, see what I can do. Anyways, um, then from line, then I go to boxes now. And then just practicing that. But also, you can chuck in a little circle as well. This is all from Cynix. Uh, Cynix had a video about getting tablet, like just tips on, t on tablets, and it's so good. I copied most of the, all the ideas from that, basically. Um, so then do that for a bit, and then you can make it into a cube. And you just try to do it with one line, instead of like drawing a line like that, just kind of like, because you can always undo it. And so just putting a circle on every part, and then I would just do that, and just do it a couple times, you know what I mean? So you, I'm aiming for every side of the circle to touch, but actually doing it subconsciously, like just not even really thinking about it. And then once I have that, then I put arrows on it, like that. And don't worry too much about it. It's, I think it's just the doing it every day. <clears throat> uh -huh. Now without the music, it's really quiet. And uh, I got a tip: is Control A and Delete gets rid of everything. <laughs> uh, after that, I would do maybe do some circles. This is another thing, but it's from a different Cynics video where he said, um, do like. A wave shape but without thinking just do small medium and large I don't know it's good for design <laughs> but I just take his word for it um, and then after that one I would do another things video he said about graffiti was really good so I would just randomly just try to do my name but um, just in every day or do something different with it you know trying to get my brain thinking of like you know because you want the letters not to be too uniform in some ways. Like his video about graffiti, you just watch that. He'll explain everything perfectly. Um, that's that. And then after that, now I would move on to Skulls, where I have this, um, it's, I don't know, it's this website. It's like, it has 3D, pe people upload their 3D designs of Skulls and stuff. Um, I'm just doing it off the top of my head. Basically, Skulls like this. Like the, I've done so many now. I kind of, kind of, I can kind of remember it. Like it's not perfect, but the general gist is is right. His teeth. But yeah, if I have the picture, I would pick a different angle because I can spin it in this little thing. I forgot where it is, but people upload it. It's like they design it in three D, and then so that's a skull. And then what I'll do is also make another layer. This is what I do now. Early on was just a skull, and then I would just like draw a face out of it. Just practice. I don't know, warm up. Because um, if you draw a lot of faces, I think it's good. Cynic said um, he's drawing skulls was like the best thing for him to get good at drawing faces, and I, I think it's helping me a lot too. Anyways. And also, I'm practicing um, from Loomis's book uh, on portraits. Okay, so that's a head, basically, generally. Um, yeah, just do it however you want. <laughs> Eyebrows. Okay. Anyways, um, and then I do maybe three of those, and then I get onto my practice with Loomis, the book. Oh yeah, whatever I was drawing, but with my music on, so good. Now I'm just trying to delete it, really. So that's basically it. So this time you could actually see what I, <laughs> what I was drawing because before I was, because the webcam has angled down for some reason, um, and so yeah, you couldn't see anything. But I'm probably going to chop that out of my previous clip, <laughs> destroy the evidence. No, anyways, um, 
hopefully you guys enjoy it. And um, yeah, basically, I'll add the the last bit of my the last video I did. Um, I was basically saying how I loved my tablet, which I really do. I really love drawing with it. Every day I draw with it. Um, like yeah, like I would say it gets easier, but now I don't even think about it. Anyways, um, that's all for this, and I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll splice this together as some kind of Frankenstein type video <laughs> together, and hopefully it makes sense to you. All right, bye. My warm ups, basically, I do three of those from different angles, like top down, whatever. And then I just get into my practice with moments, and um, I do it while listening to music. Um, it's so fun. But basically, this uh, video is about just celebrating the fact that now I can do this. It's so cool. I'm, I wanted to be able to do this for years now, ever since like um, years, 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 years. But I can finally do it. So I think I'll end it here. Um, I love the Wacom Into Us Pro, this beautiful, beautiful thing. It's just so good. What I what I really like about it is it just works. It's like, it's like, I heard someone say some of the best things are just like in the background quietly, just doing it. They're working. Like when you, when I use it, I don't even think about it. And that's what's the best thing. It just goes away and you, it's just you and the drawing and you don't have to worry about it. It's just, and it's like one cable, so light. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Anyways. Um, I just wanted to make a video saying I can do it now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.